We're going to move on to Fred Alton next. Uh, I think such a busy show tonight. The Boudicca, and this is the first time we've ever featured Greenland I know. and Iceland. And this one has a £500 saving. And my, uh, my twin brother <laughs> is here to tell you more about Fred Alton. <laughs> Fred Olsen operates smaller, personal, more traditional ships. The atmosphere is welcoming and warm and you soon get to know your fellow passengers and crew. And although all the ships have their own distinctive personalities, they all share the same great comforts, cuisine and service that Fred Olsen are so proud of. One of the highlights of a Fred Olsen cruise is the superb cuisine. Their chefs are passionate about food. So you'll be assured the same outstanding quality, no matter which menu you choose or where you decide to dine. Now, if the sun's shining, you might decide to have breakfast al fresco, or if you're feeling a bit lazy, then why not just have it delivered straight to your cabin? Lunch choices are really plentiful and on an evening main restaurants such as this offer a delicious and delectable five-course dinner. Although Fred Olsen chips are generally more intimate in size they still offer a great choice of bars and entertainment. They also want you to relax and enjoy your holiday not worry too much about how much things cost so drinks prices are really really reasonable. Uh, you may however wish to upgrade to their all-inclusive package knowing almost everything is covered. So whether you enjoy having a, a cocktail by the pool or a pint in a traditional British pub, you're sure to enjoy your favourite tipple. Although the ships are generally smaller, with approximately eight to 900 passengers in general, they've got all the facilities and conveniences you need to have a really great time. So you might want to enjoy a, a bubbling jacuzzi or have a little swim. You may also find classes such as yoga or pilates in the fitness centre, or decide to treat yourself and be pampered in the Atlantis Spa and Salon. Delightful libraries, card rooms, arts and crafts rooms, gaming tables may also be available and of course great entertainment. Fred Olsen offer a really wide variety of accommodation to suit all different needs and budgets. You can choose from a balcony cabin, an outside or an inside cabin and for solar travellers special single accommodation is also available. All cabins though have interactive televisions, a safe tea and coffee making facilities and they all have a really nice warm and cosy feel. I was actually really impressed with saying earlier with mm. Fred I took my mum, I was with my mum. Yeah. And we did have such a lovely time. And we felt so well looked after. You know, my mum's yeah, in her 70s. So and, and yeah, everyone really, you know, everyone was. Yeah, you and know, it's that lovely thing. It's, they're and, quite British cruises, yes. aren't they? Everybody speaks English. You know where you're at. Family run company, very warm and intimate and, yeah, friendly, like you said. And say. great prices. I mean, if you, yeah. uh, I mean, the drinks package we were looking, it's £10, it's still £10 a day. I know, I know. That's that's £10 extra to upgrade to that drinks package. That's amazing. I can definitely drink that, you know, a day. Um, <laughs> now, um, Fred Olsen have actually been doing a promotion and I really want all of our live viewers tonight to know this. It's been an ongoing promotion that sadly does end at midnight tonight and actually you will get up to £150 on board credit. But it's, it's been an ongoing promotion. It does finish at midnight tonight. It turns so. into a pumpkin, doesn't yes, it? Yes, so, yeah. Do you know, if, if you are watching the repeat shows, this is still a great deal. It really is. Yeah. But if you are watching live, uh, you can get up to £150 on board credit, but that finishes at midnight tonight. So let's, uh, let's talk you through. First time ever we're featuring Greenland and Iceland. Absolutely. And we are setting off, what's quite nice about this as well, from Liverpool, Liverpool. which is really nice for any of our northern viewers. And yeah, lovely to live from, leave from the Liverpool docks. And that is the thing about at Fred Olsen, they offer more regional departures than any other cruise line, so that's really good. So day two and three, we're at sea, and then day four, we're at Rechtovich in Iceland, and I was talking to, my dad's just come back, so we're having a really good chat about it. What an interesting place, capital of Iceland. And when you come into it on the ship, it almost looks like a little, like out of a Disney film. It's the funniest thing. It really is so beautiful with the little lights and everything and there's lots and lots to do here so you can visit the Gulf Foss which is the golden waterfall where they have these kind of hot springs it's all quite slippy and icy but also I would recommend and this is what my dad was was so excited about is go to the Blue Lagoon uh, basically it's like a proper spa you get yourself in it's cold all around you but inside the water it's really hot naturally and the stuff in the water is so good for your skin and you rub all this mud on yourself you can have massages and you can eat there as well and if you didn't fancy getting into the water there's a little gallery where you can just watch and look at the scenery Ooh, and I'd, I'd fancy that, that yeah, yeah it's a may, really sort of medicinal really incredible properties in the water and then you've got whale watching you can do in Reykjavik I mean when else do you get to do that of a day and this sort of amazing landscape as well 
and you've got an overnight board. board. Yeah, yeah, so you've got lots of time there. The one thing about Iceland, the food is quite odd. Don't worry, you can get international cuisine <laughs> everywhere, but if you were going to try Icelandic food, they eat things like, wait for it, puffin, reindeer, whale. It's worth trying once. I've got to say, a bit weird. So, but um, you can find international cuisine everywhere. The great thing is you'll have fantastic cuisine on board the ship. Actually, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. You'll be so. like, yes, get back to the ship. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's really interesting. And then day six, you're at sea. And then day seven, you are cruising around Cape Farewell. Now, of course, uh, you know... Uh, uh, around these destinations look out you know the whole point is you're on a ship you're sailing you are hopefully going to see whales and dolphins and seabirds in their natural habitat so very this is a real adventure i think and then day eight you're in are you ready for this nasa suak <laughs> now in in 2010 nasa suak only had 158 inhabitants mm -hmm. these are the kind of remote places you're going to be able to explore on this fred olsen cruise places that you would not, not normally get near. We've never had Greenland on the show before. You know, as I say, it's a time to explore. Um, now, you're then going to be sailing onto Kakortok as well. And all around this area, you've got the ice sheet, which is a vast body of ice in the water, second only to the Antarctic. Everywhere you look, it's a bit like sort of Viking land, but you can go fishing, you can go hiking. There are little museums to visit, but these are small, remote, quaint, interesting little places. And in Kakortok, actually Danish is a more common second language than English. Um, you've got a little church you can go and see. It's going to be very light at night as well. It's incredibly interesting. So if you're after a trip to really come back and have a tale to tell, I think this is it. So having just come back from like Norway, yeah. now I'm really more keen to travel a bit further afield. Yeah, well, do, you were buzzing yeah. off that trip. Yeah. Because it was something you hadn't done before. And I think that going to Greenland and places like this. And Iceland, yeah. Yeah, you know, with the comfort of an incredibly luxurious ship, it's really fascinating. And there's one final stop, isn't there? Yes, in Nanortalik and Greenland. And just to sort of get things into perspective, Greenland is um, the largest island in, in the world in terms of the area, but it's the least densely populated. And some of the places, it almost looks like you're on the moon. It's very barren and like there's not many trees it's just so different to uh, to, to Europe and to, to where we live so it's fascinating um, Nanotalek is the place of polar bears again if you wanted to go up the mountainsides and go hiking you can but if not there's some picturesque fjords and then you're back at sea um, and then you're arriving back in Liverpool back um, home I can imagine you're going to come back so relaxed you know, yes yeah. absolutely the peace and quiet fantastic um, now um, so I was lucky to cruise with Fred Olsen last year. Really impressed. The ships are more intimate, smaller ships, hence it can go to these, you know, more exclusive remote places. I think there's less than 900 passengers on board the yes. ship. Um, just a real British feel, a real, you know, great atmosphere. Did your mum have a lovely time? Oh, she did. We yeah. both did. We yeah. both did. You know, loved it. Nice really to go on a did. cruise with your mum. Spend yeah, some was. proper time together. Yeah. yeah, lovely. We want to do it all the time, Gemma. But <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm only joking, mum. I'm only joking, joking mum. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that about your mum. That's what they're watching. To tease. The <laughs> Shouting at the TV, <laughs> uh, but 849 is an amazing price. £500 is what you're saving. Um, you can upgrade to all inclusive for only £10 per person per night. We will expect this one to sell very quickly tonight. And don't forget, uh, for live viewers watching this Tuesday, if you do book before uh, midnight, you will also get up to £150 on board credit. If you want your beats, that promotion will have finished, but you know, it's still an amazing offer. But yeah. uh, so if you book uh, before midnight tonight, you will get up to £150 on uh, spend as well on board spend.